So everybody, I did it. I made it. 32 years old today. Is it a time for celebration? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm feeling pretty old. Pretty old and tired. <laughs> what a great way to start the video, hey? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It's Jordan here. Today, we are going to be doing some stuff in the Lego room and also maybe going to the Lego store as well. So that's good. It's a fun way to uh, celebrate my birthday, cleaning up my mess in the Lego room. Yeah, I hope to build a new display involving boats. Big Lego City projects always result in big messes, right? So yeah, I've got to try and clean the stuff up and build a new display with all of these awesome boats right here because they're no longer in the Lego City. So I've got to find a shelf for them somewhere. Where that's going to be, I have no idea. I'm going to have to start building this here right away as well. That would be a fun way to celebrate my 32nd, wouldn't it? Build that bad boy. I was thinking about making a big change to my desk area as well. I don't know, though. You know those uh, Ikea Calyx units? They've got, like, the square cubbies. I was thinking of replacing this table right here with one of those. And just have it, like, this tall, this narrow, right along there. Then I can put all of this stuff underneath in the cubbies. And the TV and the computer can still go on top of it. And that actually makes this area more spacious. Because when I'm filming my reviews and stuff, it's not very spacious in here. Like, there's not a whole lot of room, you know, to film. <laughs> so that would actually increase the amount of room and also would give us some storage as well. Thinking about it, some food for thought there. But yeah, I got to go to the Lego store today because I keep running out of uh, green plate. And I've got a new project that I want to work on over here. I was just working on integrating these and I actually pretty much used all of my green plate and I want to create a new sort of mountainous hill over here. And in order to do that, I need a bunch of green plate. I could just order it from Bricklink, but I want to get out of the house today. It's my birthday and I want to go celebrate by going to the Lego store. So that's the plan. I actually have one of those cabinets that I bought in a vlog not too long ago. It's right here in my office where I do all my editing and I've been meaning to build that and put it right here just because I need more space in my office because <laughs> this is where I operate my business right here off this shelf. That's it. That's where all the paperwork happens. Cool. So yeah, I need to build this and put this cabinet here. And I think I want to get one for the basement too. So we got Benjamin bouncing. He's all happy. We had to put a cushion underneath because he's not tall enough. And look who's on the cushion. Loon. Oh, she's coming over to say hello. And she's bumping into my delicious breakfast, which is over easy eggs, back bacon on a cheese bun. Thank you, Jose. What do you think, Benny? Woo! There's one thing that I can cook better than Jose. It's toast. Like, come on now. <laughs> All I can say, everybody, is thank goodness for coffee. And Elvis Presley, because... Crying babies <laughs> is a lot. But look at this. Put the boats up top there. It's more of like a storage solution for now. Because they're on the bulkhead shelf here. And then they're also on this PAX unit over here. Along with a bunch of different ocean stuff that needs to be reintegrated. Yeah. Boats pretty much stored away. And then I've got this. Clutter here, all these trees will go back in the campground. This is uh, the Queer Eye stuff. And I'll have to sort all this stuff out as well. Honestly, like, <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a day here. I uh, just am realizing that I need to take some time to uh, sort, out, uh, sort out my life. <laughs> Not really my life, but the Lego room in general. Yeah, I just need to, like, take a week. And just clean and sort and organize and it's something I've been putting off for a decade <laughs> a decade but yeah I just need to like sit back and relax and get this all sorted out it's not too bad I'm I'm crazy it's not too bad at all no no, no. we need to go to Lego store and keep building <laughs> I guess Mother Nature knew it was my birthday as well and blessed me with all of this awesome fluffy stuff 
Well, you know what? Turns out we're gonna build some Ikea furniture today as well. Do you hear it? It's been a rough couple days. <laughs> it's pretty much that all the time. Sounds like me building this furniture. No, I'm just kidding. Calyx units I can build in my sleep. So easy. But I'm not kidding about the kids. It's actually been a long six months, not a long couple days. A long six months. Look at my shirt. <laughs> Just got to build the inserts now. It's going to make the accounting department pretty happy. A little more organized here in the office. It's really cool how these are like modules that you build and insert to the Calyx unit to sort of customize it. And those can actually be swapped up, right? The drawers were part intensive and took a little bit longer to build in the shelves, but pretty sweet. We actually use this in the nursery as well for the kids' clothes. So there you go, customized little desk here. And like I was saying, it'd be cool to build one of these for the uh, basement there, just right along that wall. Then anything on top of the desk, right? Kleenex and all that junk goes in the cubbies underneath. And then it just gives us more space here. I'm probably gonna do that, honestly. I know eventually I want to get a bigger space, but why not make this place even better for the time being? And it's not like I can't bring that cabinet to the new place when the time comes, right? Oh, there's my coffee. Excellent. Nice and cold. So Millie has a new trick. She loves to roll over. She probably won't do it for the camera though, will you? Oh, there we go. That's just how she likes to live her life now rolled over. So the plan was to bring the kids to the mall, go on a little family outing, but their naps aren't aligning right now. Right, Benjamin? And you definitely don't want to bring babies that haven't fed and haven't napped at the same time out to the mall, because there's going to be a guaranteed meltdown situation. While I was building the cabinet, this box arrived. This has got the next whatnot figures in it, the exclusive ones. And these ones were for Valentine's Day. So they did the skeleton for Halloween. Uh, then they did the snowy or Christmas themed clone trooper for Christmas. And this one's for Valentine's Day. Look, it's a chocolate covered strawberry minifigure. It's got like the drip or drizzle going down its torso and legs. And then she's got the strawberry face and the printed two by two tile. And I got 10 of them. We're actually going to be auctioning these off on Friday. That's February 10th at 2 o'clock Mountain Time. Feel free to check out my WhatNot account and bookmark the stream if you want to come on by and try and get yourself a chocolate-covered strawberry Lego minifigure. Got all freshened up. Now we just got to wait for the babies to wake up from their nap, and then we can head to the Lego store. In the meantime, just going to sort some parts here, clean up a little bit, all that fun stuff. So here I go, I got my tape measure out and I'm doing measurements again. I'm thinking about this space over here. Another thing that I could do is take these Alex drawer units that are under there, there's three of them, the white ones, and I could put those along the wall. And that's gonna shorten this desk and also bring it into the wall. And three of them fit underneath a table like this here, which I have more of over there. So I could reduce the size of this table, but add drawers underneath. This space under here has got to be better utilized. You know, there's nothing under there, just a box full of parts and a case of water. <laughs> like I could definitely turn that into a storage solution. And I think this massive desk that I specifically bought for this area when I made these changes has got to go. The uh, narrow ca Calyx unit upstairs there is actually even narrower it's only 16 inches so one and a half feet and that would save the most amount of room here and then we'd have the cubbies underneath but maybe the drawers are the better solution granted you won't be able to open the drawers because this table's in the way but this table's on wheels it's very easy to move got to do something also i'm going to be changing up this in the near future as well so for the longest time i've had my mini part bins over there and they are relatively hard to access not really but you know, getting in here is difficult, especially on the bottom, because this is pretty narrow right there. So getting in the bottom there is a little bit rough and getting in here can be rough at times as well. The silly heads are barely accessed. Like I rarely go in there, right? So what I could do is just swap 
the drawer position. Put the silly heads, which are always photobombing Lego City stuff anyway. Like they're right there, pretty ugly, pretty silly, right? I could put those over there and then essentially uh, bring the smaller ones over here and then shift this over just to make the spacing work correctly. So that would be a fairly easy change as well. So I think I'm going to make these changes to my studio space just to give us more room and to make everything easier to access. Always thinking of changing something here in the Lego room. There are always ways that things can be improved no matter what. Looks like it's go time. We're going to Lego store, kids. Can I get a woohoo? Benny? Millie? Woohoo! No woohoos for me? Okay. Fine then. Look at these little warriors on their way to the mall. Check out the pad wall, guys. You see it? Pretty cool, hey? So many colors. You're not even looking at it. You're not even impressed. Oh no. They have these two by 10 green plates though. So I'm gonna buy some of those for sure. They have these arches too, which is a pretty good find. Oh my gosh, they've got spiders. They have the quarter round tiles in stock as well. I got a bunch of those last time I was here. I might fill some of the void space with these one by two green slopes. Maybe this damaged box mass isolate too get 5,000 uh, 5, VIP points, so $50 cash back. Double points is coming up, that would actually be pretty good. But they did raise the price to 500 Canadian dollars last August. Now I parted out two of these, I almost want to part out another one because it's 30% off and those parts are great for our mansion. If it was double points, that would be a stellar deal. I only ended up getting two cups because apparently there's a double points coming up this weekend extending till next week and they'll reload the pad wall again but I got all the green plate so that was good. I also went to Starbucks got my free Vente vanilla latte with an extra shot of espresso and now check this out. Carlos Bake Shop it's Cake Boss it's a vending machine and you can get some cake from the Cake Boss. Hoboken style, baby. So we're gonna get a slice of cake from a vending machine. That's hilarious. We've made our way to the art gallery to get ourselves a birthday present. Because Jose's birthday was yesterday, mine's today. And we always collect these. They're like Disney Thomas Kincaid photos. And they're nice canvases framed up. I think we have seven right now, six hanging one to be hung and I don't want to hang it not symmetrical so we got to get one more I like this one Alice in Wonderland this one is cool too actually Pirates of the Caribbean the black pearl and I think Jose likes this one up there at the very top down here we got Beauty and the Beast a cool Mickey one. Oh, we have that one the seven dwarves oh there's frozen Never seen that one before. Oh my gosh, that one's neat. It's a little bit dark though, that's for sure. See that one is way better than this one in my opinion. This one is awesome though, two grand. Wow. Here it is in a smaller version right down here. Doesn't really fit the vibe though, you know? All ours are Disney. Pretty cool though. You can hear the babies. They're not having a good time now all of a sudden. So we ended up getting the Beauty and the Beast that was right there. I do like this one though. A little bit dark, but maybe one day we'll get it. We made it home and I'm back to sorting here. Putting some parts away. Included in that is the PAB stuff that we picked up at the Lego store. Just two cups. February 10th through February 16th is double points. So didn't want to go too heavy. And there wasn't anything crazy on the wall. I got all these. All these fit in one cup. That's all they had left. Going to be very helpful with that hill that we want to create in the campground there. And then some one by ones in tan as well. I have come to the conclusion though here in February and March 2023. Thought it was 2022 the other day. <laughs> it's hard to remember the year. Hey, wow. When you're this old, believe me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I have decided that uh, I am going to be focusing on cleaning up the Lego room here over the next couple months. Uh, specifically when my helper is here, Simon, he's going to help me clean up my mess. And I will be moving those Alex units under there and reducing the size of that table so there's more space for activities over there in the work area. 
And then that's gonna open up a bunch of space underneath here. So what I'm gonna do is there's all the park bins right underneath the amusement park, right? I'm gonna slide those over to where the Alex units are. Then I'm gonna go buy some large clear Tupperware containers or Rubbermaid or plastic containers, whatever you wanna call them. And I'm gonna put all of my parts, all of my parts that need to be sorted in those and stack them neatly where the parts currently are, like all those drawer units, rather than having them in like a bajillion bins underneath. Like this here, like I've got all of these parts just everywhere, right? They've been like that for all of eternity. So if I get some nice bins with some lids, I can put them all in one spot, like multiple bins, put the lids on, and then neatly stack them right there. So then it's like, okay, Lego that has to be sorted is bam, right there. Uh, overflow bins are over there where those Alex units used to be, and those Alex units are now over here. Just makes more sense. It's gonna tidy this up, give us some more storage space, and uh, just sort of consolidate the mess because these things always become pulled out and are sort of everywhere. And also when you look like this, you can see them all. If there was nothing under there, it would be way better. So I've already decided that I'm gonna do that. What do those bins cost? 10, 20, 20, dollars, 30, whatever. $50, $80, whatever it is, just get that all tidied up there and consolidate my mess and, uh, and then start sorting it. And I'm really gonna be focusing on that. Over the next couple months here, I'm just sort of sick of it. I, I need it done. I'm just like, I don't know, I'm getting old and like it's on my mind. It's like specifically today, it's just, it's just eating away at me. It's crazy. It's like on the back of my mind at all times. So it's gotta be dealt with. So I look forward to dealing with that. That's awesome. Also, did you see the bin over there? It's jammed, look at that. Big bin that needs to be sorted. There's awesome stuff in here, right? Like, look at this. This was given to me by my aunt and my uncle, so thank you so much. I've gotta go through here though. It's uh, really bad, there's like, <laughs> what is that? There's a bunch of stuff in there that needs to be dealt with, but yeah. That, and also there's like two, three bins that size in my garage as well. Before I'm 33, it's gonna all be dealt with. Hopefully sooner than that. <laughs> Hopefully within the next couple months. Look what Jose got me for my birthday. I almost forgot that you get gifts on your birthday. Look at this amazing crib board. It's magnetic and the cards and pegs underneath. Look at that. Metal pegs. And it's magnetic. That's so nice. Been looking for a nice crib board for so long because we used to just like the cheap one. Wow, I'm gonna have to skunk Jose soon. We usually played on the deck in the summer. I am excited. That is awesome. What a thoughtful gift. Thank you, Jose. That's so cool. Let's quickly fix this up though. Replace those glass panels and then use these ones here to build the railing in the arcade section. Thank goodness for the pad wall, giving us the parts we need. That's awesome. Because I actually used all of these to make those windows. But now that I substituted those out, I can use those in other places. Like on the railing right here, looking down into the garage. So that's split right there because this is a separate floor. And eventually when we build the arcade, the idea is right here, there will be a bowling lane. And this is where people can bowl. So it's right in the window. You'll be able to see it when you look in. And then all the arcade games will be scattered throughout here. And be fully tiled off. Probably that dark red color, maybe checkered with like dark red and dark tan. That might look pretty cool. Just whatever I have in my inventory. There's also some light blues, earth blue. Something cool. Something checkered in there. A nice pop of color when you look in those windows there. Not going to do that today though because I don't feel like doing it today, I guess. So I have all the two by two brick and colorful plate necessary to build the massive mills plate for the hill slash mountain slash cliff edge that's gonna be over here. So it's gonna sit on two 48 by 48 plates. One is right here with the creek. The other one is right there. And then three 16 by 32s right here, here, and there. That will be one massive plate. But that's actually not the biggest mills plate in the city. The one back there is pretty big with the Ninjago Mountain, but the biggest one is actually the mansion. So this ocean component is separate. However, for some reason, I tacked it down somewhere with one or two studs, because it should separate right there. 
I don't know where I made that mistake. <laughs> I think it's these right here that are built into the mansion mills plate, but this is one massive plate. I just kept adding more and more and more onto it. And actually, if we were to separate the beach, two people probably could just lift that up and walk around with it because it's rock solid. Maybe even one person, if you remove the top floor or the second and third floor when it's finally built. And then maybe I'd be able to like haul it to a convention or move it to the next place if it fits up the stairs and through the door. I don't know if it would fit. I didn't take measurements. Yikes. <laughs> Not very smart thinking, I guess. But yeah, that's going to be an awesome mill split. I should build that soon and get the base of the mountain hill cliff edge constructed so then I can start putting the rock panels in the back there and create the cliff edge part of it and then start tapering it upward using all of the green plate that I acquired today and all the green slopes as well. That's going to be a fun project. I love doing big landscaping projects like the Ninjago Mountain and like the campground in general and also the zoo. So it'll be a fun project, that one there. And what's nice about building a giant mills plate for that section right there is I can just remove all of this stuff, put it on this table, and then slide it in. Unlike the Ninjago Mountain, I had to lift it up over my head through the access hole and then place it into the city. This will be a lot easier to insert in the spot. However, once it's in spot and everything's built around it, in order to extract it, you're probably going to have to move 10 plates and then slide it off the table, but it is what it is. I mean, once it's in spot, I don't plan on removing it a whole lot. Like, I haven't removed the Ninjago Mountain once, and I don't plan on it because <laughs> it's sort of a beast. If I need to make alterations to that, sort of got to do it from that access hole into LIGO City, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty fun. Can't wait to do that. It's going to be awesome. You know what? I decided that I wasn't going to procrastinate today. Pulled out the hammer and the level and hung the Thomas Kincaid canvases. There we go. So today I hung Beauty and the Beast, and that's the one we bought today. And then also Peter Pan. I love Captain Hook there. Are they level? Pretty much. They're off by like a millimeter, maybe. This one might be a little bit too high. They're rather difficult to get perfectly level because the strings on the back are different lengths. Sort of a framer's error, in my opinion. Some of them are two and a half inches, some are three inches away from the top. Sort of annoying, but nice little collection there, right? So... We collect Lego, obviously, and we collect these, and then we also collect the uh, Jim Shore statues as well. So a little bit of Disney stuff in addition to the Lego. Not bad. There's eight of them, though. You know what? Eventually, I would like to get even more of them and have them stretch this entire wall. So like from this section of the couch all the way to the wall and then one more row above. Could you imagine? That would be so cool. It's sort of throwing me off now because it's not symmetrical. We almost need to get two more for right here for it to be symmetrical above our couch. <laughs> oh, that would be so cool to have like an entire collection though covering this whole wall in our TV room. That would be awesome. It's always a good day, you know, getting these things here because just something else we collect. We try to get one or two a year, specifically on our birthdays, and we enjoy it. Looks good. Glad that I got them hung. Babies are trying corn cereal tonight for the first time. How is it, Benny? I think you like corn. You like corn? Mm, I think so. Is corn good? Yeah. Wait till you try peaches and cream corn on the cob. It's going to change your life. Corn yum yums? Yum 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 yum. Yum 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 yum. <laughs> oh, nice. That's attractive. So pretty good birthday, 32 years old. The day isn't done yet. Gonna order some food and watch the new Black Panther on Disney+. Plus. Sort of an inconvenient time because we're re-watching the MCU. Specifically right now, in the timeline order, we're on Thor Dark World. Not the best movie. It's taken us a few days to watch it just because the babies keep waking up at night. But we hope to just focus on watching the new Black Panther tonight and get it done in one night. But yeah, Thor Dark World, not the best movie in the MCU. A good movie, but not my favorite movie in the lineup, that's for sure. I'm going to wrap up this vlog here so I can enjoy the night and watch the new Black Panther. Got lots of stuff done today and lots of plans for the future as well to tidy up the Lego room. Very excited about it. 
everybody, thank you so much for coming on by and joining me on my birthday. Hope you had a great time. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff, and farewell.